It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you, and welcome to the Science Bowl. Two great schools here today battling it out for the chance to take on Martin Luther King and maybe advance to the finals. Let's meet today's contestants. First, from G. James Golson Middle School, would you please say hello to Samuel Onyekon, Skylin Jackson, and William Villatoro. And from Stephen Decatur Middle School, here they are wearing their red shirts. Would you say hello to Jason Castellon, Malat a snake, and Jamilatu Bio. And now, here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. And here on Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty. Easier questions on the left worth 5 and 10 points. Tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. We start our teams out with 50 points. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. End of the two rounds today, we will have a winner and a competitor for Martin Luther King. Let's go over and make sure everything is working properly. Let's go to the G. James Golson team. Skyline, would you try your buzzer? Thank you, young man. Good luck to you and to William and to Samuel. It's all hands on deck over there. Stephen Decatur at Malot, would you try yours? All right. Also, looks and sounds good. Also, all hands on deck. Jason and Malot and Jimmy Latu. Let's have a good game here, guys. And congratulations on being chosen by your schools to be here. You won already just by being chosen as ambassadors. You look good, and I know we're going to have a good game. We go alphabetically G before S, so Skylin and G. James Golson, let's play the bowl. Okay, we're going to do... Zoo Parade for five. Zoo Parade for five points. We're going to start out with a visual question. Everybody look at the monitor in the studio, if you would, please. If you remember Hurricane Harvey, down in Houston, this bloated carcass washed up on the beach in Texas, and nobody knew what it was. It's got teeth. It is. What is that thing? That is ca... Hmm, Skyland. What kind of animal is it? I was going to give you some more details. You may know already. I need an answer from you. A gar. 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 Not a gar. It does look like a gar. Good try. I'm going to repeat for Stephen Decatur. This bloated carcass that washed up onto the beach in Texas during Hurricane Harvey is actually the fairy toothed version of a snake like fish known as a what? Eel? An eel. Yes, indeed. That's the fairy tooth eel. Would not want to run into one of those when I was in the ocean. Go green. Go. A lot. Dateline signs for 10. Dateline for 10 points. Teams, November 24th is celebrated around the world as this day, which is named for the theory that Charles Darwin developed in the Galapagos Islands. It's known as what day? Golson. Thanksgiving. Not Thanksgiving, no. Nope. Stephen Decatur, November 24th is celebrated as this day Name for the theory that was discovered by Charles Darwin. Evolution Day. Evolution Day. The survival of the fittest. Okay, try again. Green. So let's get physical for five. Get physical for five points. Teams, listen. Follow. I have clues in every one of these questions. The singer Prince is best known for singing about what? Purple precipitation. <laughs> Decatur. Purple rain. Purple rain. Jimmy Latu, she was ready. She knew that this was going to be an easy question. Bam, she hit. Good. Go. Green. Um, body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Teams, 
if your punishment is minimal after you did something really bad, Malat. Slap on the wrist. Slap on the wrist. You got it. Nicely done. Green. Um, body assistance for 15. Body assistance for 15 points. Teams, let's see how good you are at adjectives. Patellar is an adjective that describes your knee. Cardiac is an adjective that describes heart type things. And pulmonary is an adjective that describes what kinds of organs? Skylin. Pulmonary refers to what organs? I'm going to uh, pass it over to Sam. Samuel. Come on, Samuel. Uh, pulmonaries. That has to do with your, um, somewhere in your, air, your lung. Air. Yeah, somewhere in your lungs. You got that right. Boy, I was going to wait you out because I could see you knew it. Nicely done. Go red. Um, Tie we're score. Gonna, we're going to do Zupa rate for 10. Zupa rate for 10 points. Teams, easy question. One of the strongest glues in the world is named for this biggest of primates. Decatur. Gorilla glue. Gorilla glue, yeah. Don't get stuck to a table. You ain't getting unstuck. Go. Green. Um, let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, if you have something called a root cellar in your basement where you keep root vegetables like potatoes, you probably have an instrument in there called the hygrometer, which measures this in the air. A lot. Air pressure. Not air pressure. You're inside of a root cellar. You're trying to keep these root vegetables like carrots and potatoes, and you have a hygrometer that measures this that's in the air. Freshness. Say it. Freshness. What, like, what, what do you say? Freshness. Fre freshness. Not freshness. Good try. Very good try. Humidity. Humidity, the amount of water vapor in the air. Because you want it to be very dry because you don't want the vegetables to rot. Okay. Don't beat yourself up about it. You're doing well. Go green. Malat. Um, science potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. Teams, if you went to see capital I, small t, that was Pennywise, the awful, scary clown. That was that it. But if you spell it capital I, capital T, it's what kind of job that a lot of people have today. What is IT stand for? Come on, Skylin. What is IT? If you work in IT, what do you work in? Itinerary? Stephen Decatur, IT. If you work in that, capital I, capital T, what is that? It's like a technical job. I need to know what those for initials computers? stand for. Um. Information technology, IT. Try again. Oh, we won't try anymore. We'll come back after the break. Right now, that score is 70 for Decatur, 65 for Golson. We've got a close game here. Don't go away, anybody. We'll be back with the second half of Science Bowl in just one moment. And welcome back to Science Bowl. Hope you are enjoying this game at home as much as we are here in the studio. Six fine players here today. Great young people. Let's meet them. Let's go first to G. James Golson. And if this young man looks familiar, he should look familiar. He was here once before. Skyla, nice to have you back again. Tell us about G. James Golson. Who's your principal? Well, our principal is Mrs. Marshall Hall. We really like to give a big thanks to her because without her, we wouldn't be a good school. We really appreciate her a lot. What a nice thing. And I hope hope she's listening. And if she's not, I hope you tell her that because that will mean everything to her, Skyline. You're a, a fine young man to say that. Tell me who your coach is today. Our coach is Coach James. Even though that our first coach was Mrs. Henry, even though the incident didn't happen with her, without Miss um, Coach James, we really wouldn't be a good team because with, he's really been working with us. Even though the, the game was coming up really quick, he really was patient and working with us. So we really appreciate him a lot, a lot. Wow, you're an impressive young man. And uh, Mr. James did indeed do that because Golson was a replacement school. You did not have a lot of time to prepare. So uh, the fact that you're here and you're doing so well is a real testament to what Mr. James has done. And Mrs. Henry, too. Uh, any alternates on your team, Skyler? Do you have any alternates? Yes, Who we is? have two, um, we have three alternates in there. Patrick, we have Patrick, Arias, and Leslie. Wonderful. And they'll be out in just a few moments with Mr. James. And before I leave you, I always like to ask about schools, what do you like to brag about when you tell people that you go to G. James Colson? What's the best thing there? Well, we represent the Knights at our school, and we also are working hard to be a Blue Ribbon School. Wow. And that's a great goal, because that's a national award. And this is going to go a long way toward that. Skyler, when you grow up, what do you want to do? 
I will, even though I want, might want to be a gymnast or I might want to be a teacher, my really goal is I really want to be an OBGYN doctor. Wow, wow. You've got all kinds of great ambitions and you're, I can see why they made you the captain. You're a fine young man. William, you are an artistic guy. You paint, yes, and yeah. you draw. Have you, have you always had that talent? Well, no, actually. Um, I started to draw when I was like six years old. Yeah. And then like, um, I don't remember who it was. I think it was my sister boyfriend who came in, who came into my life, and then like he taught me how to draw, and then I just became better since then. Wow! So you you owe a debt of gratitude to him. And would you like to do that professionally someday? Yeah. Yeah, I bet you'd be good at that. What else do you do in your spare time if you're not drawing and painting? Um, I would play soccer outside. Yeah. I would play video games indoors. I would read or like write something. You're doing all the right stuff. You're keeping yourself occupied in gainful ways. Nice to have you here. Samuel, nice to have you here today. Tell me about your plans for the future. Um, I want to become a mechanical engineer because I'm always excited to make something new. Yeah, and engineers do that and they make things better and they reinvent things. And you came up with a really good answer to that pulmonary answer about the lungs. How do you know so much science? Because you do. Uh, well, it's really because of my science teachers, mm -hmm. and last night I really had to study because I knew that I was representing um, Golson, mm -hmm. so I spent the night studying, and I had to know what I was doing. Well, you, you did a very nice job, and you're representing your school beautifully, so uh, it was worth all that effort. Let's go over and meet your competitors from Stephen Decatur and Jason. Nice to have you here today and Milad and Jimmy Latu. Milad, tell me about Stephen Decatur. Who's the principal down there? Dr. Magruder. Absolutely, rooting for you. And Mr. De La Cruz is here today as your sponsor, yes. is he not? Yes. And he's uh, new to the job and I know he spent a lot of time getting you guys ready and organized. And Samuel, thank you uh, for all that you have done and uh, <laughs> Mr. James too for all you did. Tell me any alternates you have, Milad. Yeah, we have one. Her name's Kennedy. Wonderful. She'll be out in just a few moments' time. And uh, best thing about Decatur? We have a lot of after-school clubs going from sports to even modeling. Yeah. So we're really, like, to modeling. Wow. That. So you get to do that as well. Speaking of modeling, you're modeling what it's uh, like to be a good science bowl captain. How do you know so much science? You're just whip smart. <laughs> um, I study a lot, and my science teacher from fourth grade, Ms. Ray, she'd really, like, challenge us and like really teach us a lot. Wow, that teacher did a great job. What do you want to do someday? I'd really like to be a homicide detective because I just love mystery. Yeah, I can, you've got an intensity about you. I can see you doing that, and I know you like all those TV shows that, that sometimes glamorize that, but we know it's a lot of hard work. Jimmy Latu, nice to have you here today. This young lady who likes to get into policy debates. Yes, policy debates. Yeah. And you like to read, what kind, of, what kind of books do you like? Autobiographies, historical, something like that. Yeah, I like to learn about people that have done a difference in our communities and across the world. Wow, because those are the people that make the difference. Yeah. And you know, sometimes you think one person doesn't, but they do. And you're one of those people. You're going to make a difference. I can just tell. I hope uh, so. Well, I know you will. I know you will. Uh, professionally, what do you want to do someday? Uh, I want to be a surgeon in the military. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, uh, that's going to be, yeah, they'll be lucky to have you. Yeah. Yeah. Jason, tell us the Jason story. What do you do in your spare time? I play soccer. Yeah. And if I, if it's too cold outside or it's raining, I read books. If I don't have books, I tell my mom if I could go to the library because I have a library card and I love reading books. Wow, you're doing all the right stuff because reading takes you everywhere. Mm -hmm. And what, when you grow up, what do you want to do? I want to become a lawyer. A lawyer. So you're going to be in the court there arguing and winning, right? <laughs> and winning. Let's get back to the game. Green things, or green things, green team 75, Golson 65, close game, Decatur, you choose. Let's go. Body systems for 25. Body systems for 20. Big one in that category. Teams, this is a multiple choice question. Listen carefully to this. If you were going into the hospital for lithotripsy, lithotripsy, are you going to have deep brain stimulation? Are you going to have your baby examined in utero? Or are you going to have your kidney stones broken up by sound waves? <laughs> lithotripsy, which of those three for 25 big points in the lead, Skyland? C. C, breaking up those kidney stones. Litho means rock, and you got it. Yes, sir, good go. Yes. Um, I think we're going to go with green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. Teams, this sounds like a complicated answer, but it is not. 
In Shakespeare, there is a play called Anthony and Cleopatra. You've heard of Queen, uh, Queen Cleopatra in Egypt. Well, she said that when I was young and inexperienced, those were these kinds of days. The word I want is the thing that we eat every day with, yeah, Malak. every day. What you got? What kind of days describe when you're young and inexperienced? The golden days. Not golden days. Good try. Remember the category green things. Golson, the kind of days I'm looking for, it's the same word we describe the thing we often eat at dinner that has lettuce and tomato and cucumber and dressing on. Salad. Salad days. That's right. My salad days are when I was young and inexperienced. Good comeback. Go red. I think we're going to go with... Body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, if you're in an airplane and you're flying at 35,000 feet and you come down with hypoxia, it's because you're not getting enough what up there, Golson? Air. More specifically? Oxygen. Oxygen, Oxygen that's right. Thank you, William, for your Cisco red. Um. Where next? I think we're going to go with... Dayline Science for five. Dayline Science for five points. Teams, when Hurricane Irma hit Florida, we think it might have wiped out much of the crop that produces this juice. Malat. Orange juice. Orange juice, yeah. Orange juice is sometimes called America's number one fruit. Yeah, go. Green. Science pot brief for 25. Science pot brief for 25. Big one in that category. Teams, about a month ago when we turned on our faucets, not all of us, the water came out brown, not because there was iron in it, but rather this chemical element with the symbol MN. MN, what was in that water that turned it brown? What chemical element has the chemical symbol MN, Skyland? Mineral. Not minerals, no, Decatur, MN, not iron. What is it? Tough one. Monoxide? Not monoxide, manganese. Manganese was the right answer. Tough question, that's why it's worth 25. Go again green. Get 30 points back. Zoo Parade for 15. Zoo Parade for 15 points. All right, teams. What M initialed word can you put in front of cave and ward, the place where mother bats give birth to baby bats and human moms give birth to human babies? What kind of M initialed ward or M initialed cave? Stephen Decatur, what is that word? Oh, it was on the tip of Jason's tongue. He can't get it out. He can't get it out. Maternity? Yeah, maternity ward and maternity cave. Yes, I could see the ferment over there. Nice and going. Go. Green. Um, science potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, this is strange but true. North Korea, which is in the news for all the wrong reasons, if you go there and buy gasoline, you don't buy it by the gallon. You don't buy it by the liter. You buy it by this measurement that is equivalent to 2.2 pounds. You buy it not in gallons or liters, you buy it in this unit, equal to 2.2 pounds. Ounces? Not ounces, good try. Golson, Meters. what you got? Neutron? Kilograms kilograms and it doesn't make any sense does it because it's like kilograms is for something that is solid but that's what they sell it in North Korea those are the units go again green still close game 11095 go Malat let's get physical for 25 see physical for 25 big one in that category teams you've all probably been in the science fair the stem fair and you know what DIY stands for do it yourself well if you can't buy one of these things you can make your own get a styrofoam cooler put a thermometer inside so you can see it and a light bulb and seal it up. Now you have made your own what? A light bulb inside of a sealed container and a thermometer to let you know what the temperature is inside. What do you call one of those things that you just made yourself? A heater? Not a heater, not a heater. <laughs> Golson, what do you think you made? You got uh, yourself furnace, your own? A furnace? Furnace. Not a, a good try, a furnace. An incubator. 
It's like a furnace, it's an incubator. You can put a, an egg in there, you can hatch an egg, and you can also put some chemicals in there that you need to incubate. All right, go green. Let's turn that light out over there, please. Go. Let's get physical for 15 points. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams, schools that are energy efficient get LEED certification. There is the silver. Better yet is the gold certification. And the top certification is this P initial precious metal. Platinum. Platinum, yeah, platinum is the best. Good, Golson, go. Thank you, William. Um, I think I'm gonna go with green things for 25. Green things for 25, big one in that category. Teams, this semi-permeable biological barrier is found around animal cells, but not around plant cells. What do we call that semi-permeable barrier that surrounds an animal cell? A cell membrane. A cell membrane was the right answer. A cell membrane. Because plant cells have cell walls. Go again, red. Um, I think we're going to go with science property for 10. Science property for 10 points. Teams, if you buy a Snickers bar now, you whoa, what happened to Snickers? because they have different names on it, like Grouchy and Princess and Creepy. Well, it's still a Snickers because it still has that same familiar geometric shape with opposite sides that are parallel and equal. What do we call that geometric shape? A rectangular prism? Not a rectangular prism, close. Parallel sides that are equal on both ends. What do we call that geometric shape? It's a parallelogram. A parallelogram is what I wanted. You guys were close. Go red. Still have the lead. We're going to go with, I think I'm going to go with green things for five. Green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, if people are really passionate about the environment and conservation, they are said to be people who like to go around hugging these green things, Malat. Trees. Trees. Tree huggers. Yeah, go green. 25 points down. Body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. That'll get you close. All right, teams, listen carefully to me. If I tell you that something is edible, you can eat it. If something is visible, you can see it. But if something is this, you can hear it. Audible? Audible, yes, ma'am. Good answer. Go. Um, let's get physical for 20 points. Let's get physical for 20 points. All right, for the lead. Teams, only three moons in our solar system have oceans that are made of water. On Titan and Enceladus, which are the moons of Saturn, and also on the moon Europa, you will find a watery ocean. Europa is a moon that orbits what planet? What planet, Stephen Decatur? Neptune. Not Neptune. Golson, Europa is a um, moon that orbits what planet? Jupiter. Jupiter was the answer. Go again, green. Five points behind. Science, I meant Dateline Science for 15. Dateline Science for 15 points. Teams, the winningest family in Nobel Prize history was this family. Husband, wife, and daughter all won Nobel Prizes. What is their last name? Come on, guys. What is it? I think their name is... Uh, oh, Skyler. I know it. I know, I know it. you know it. <sighs> Decatur, the winningest family in Nobel Prize history. Husband, wife, and daughter all won Nobel Prizes. Uh, no, 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 no. It's their choice. You soft side? The Curies. Madame Curie, Pierre Curie, and their daughter, they won Nobel Prizes in physics and chemistry. Poor Madame Curie died of radiation poisoning because of her work. All right, come on, Green, let's go. Green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. All right, I know you know this one. Teams, the other name for corn is this that is often... Maize? Maize, yeah, I was going to say. Oftentimes in a cornfield, you have a labyrinth going through the corn and known as a maze as well. That buzzer says our game is now over. That means with that last push, Stephen Decatur, you've done it. We'll be back with a wrap up in just a moment. Don't go away. Welcome back to Science Bowl. Boy, it was a nail biter. It came down to that very last question. 
because these teams were so evenly matched, they were so well prepared, we expected a good game and we got one. Our final tally today is G. James Golson 125, Stephen Decatur 135. Congratulations, Decatur, the team in red and one blue guy up there. Jason Malat and Jimmy Latu and Kennedy, congratulations to you and Mr. Daly Cruz. We will see you up against Martin Luther King. I want to see some big smiles here. William and Skyland and Sam, you played a wonderful game. I love how you talk to each other. Skyland, you could do my job. You are so well versed. I love listening to talk. And look at the alternates back there. They've got a shadow team. Leslie Wave and Arius and Patrick and Mrs. Marshall Hall, the principal of the school is here. Thank you so much for being here. And Mr. James, I know you came in late, but boy, did you do a great job. We loved having you here and we, we loved having you too. We'll see you next time on another edition of Science Bowl. I'm Dave Zaird. See you then. Bye-bye.